welcome to the Belly Talks Christmas Baby Massage and Yoga Routine. It's based on the poem Twas the Night Before Christmas. So I'm doing it in my sort of evening setting, but I hope the lighting's okay. Uh, this is suitable for babies eight weeks and older. The younger they are, the quieter and gentler you need to be. I know, it goes without saying, but just for safety. Please, please, please watch through the teaching part just once and then you'll be able to skip forward to the run through to follow through and learn this lovely routine with us. So watch for head support when we do the lifts at the end. You can use fingertips on the back of your baby's head as you gently lift them up. We never force a baby's movement. Um, whatever they want to do, they do. And if they are resisting or they look even slightly uncomfortable, we stop. I always make it look so easy with my doll because my doll has no bones and no joints. So my doll does everything. Um, please listen to your baby. If, they, if they're resisting or going a bit stiff, just stop. Okay. So let me just teach you the baby massage and baby yoga moves that we um, use. So baby yoga is all about movement for babies that helps them to use the balance center of the brain to learn about where their body is in space and even to learn about the different parts of their body as their brain is building that 3D map of, of their body the older they get. So we have got some arm movements that we use in this poem. One of them is a little alternate arm stretch. So all movements should feel nice and smooth, no clicking at all. And again, baby should be happy and should look comfortable. Arm movements can sometimes be a bit trickier for younger babies because they tend to want to keep themselves a bit cuddled up. So nice, gentle, just whatever they'll do. Lovely, we do some arm circles. Again, stopping if they're not happy. Make sure it's nice, gentle, easy movement. We do some arms out and in and out. And in, apart from being nice stretches for their little baby muscles, when we're moving the right and left of their body for them, that is a coordinated movement they can't do yet and it lights up the brain and helps to connect the left and right of the brain so it's actually a helpful thing to do the left and right of their brain will connect anyway whether you do this or not it's just lovely to know that there's this additional bonus okay so that's all our arm movements with the legs we've got bringing the feet towards their head so again sometimes they're just in a super flexible mood and it's just super easy. They even bring their feet towards their mouth themselves. You don't have to do anything. Other times you just lift and they go rigid and you, you can't really move them anymore. It's fine. Whatever they'll, they'll do. We do some alternate leg movements. Okay, very sophisticated left, right movement they can't do yet. And also when their little leg is up, lovely glute stretch for them and it can be quite soothing on their tummy as well to have that little gentle press of that tummy with their with their thigh. Lovely. We have a little rolling leg movement and a little open. Rolling and open. To other arm movements we do rolling and opening with the arms as well and a little arm bind so we bring one arm across the other arm across and give them a little cuddle and again I can help them to feel nice and safe and secure because they naturally again the younger they are want to bring their hands across the middle so we can do that for them and that's part of our poem. We've also got some of the face strokes in this which we hope are calming and soothing. One of them is a nice brow stroke, so gently stroking across their forehead. 
and then stroking their eyebrows. It's hard to do face massage on a baby, they just try to eat your fingers. <laughs> so whatever you can do that feels safe and comfortable for both of you, that will be fine. We're going to do some little cheek circles, which is just in front of their ear on the jawbone. That can be helpful if they're teething and they're chewing and chewing all the time just to release off any tension around the jaw that they might have. That's good. And we're doing the teething strokes because in the poem Father Christmas smiles, so that's useful. So we do a little smile shape on the above the top lip. We do two of those and then a smile shape below the bottom lip and we hope with those ones that it's putting a little bit of pressure onto the jaw to bring some endorphins, natural pain reliever to the area and some people feel that the pressure signals may reach the brain before the pain signals and, uh, and almost sort of cancel <coughs> them out but it definitely will produce endorphins in the area. If it's too tender just leave it or just do it above them very, very gently. I think that's all of them. Let me check my list. Oh, not forgetting the little clockwise tummy massage. It's always, always helpful. And in this poem, we jiggle their belly like a bowl full of jelly. So obviously gently, gently, gently. We're just doing a little, little, little wiggle. If they have an umbilical hernia, inguinal hernia, not going to touch that. Um, and, and obviously it's just a very, very gentle jiggle of that gorgeous little belly. That's the teaching done. Thank you very much for watching that bit. And we'll run through the whole poem now. Twas the night before Christmas. And all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter. Gently, gently, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash Tore open the shutters and threw up the sash And what to my wondering eyes did appear Boo! But a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer As I drew in my head and was turning around. Down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. And he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. Eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry, his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and Filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside of his nose, and you 
giving a nod up the chimney he rose. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. <laughs>